page 438, 6D. So, uh, as you're looking at this, uh, we know that it's y equals x minus root 1 times x minus root 2. Is there more? Question mark. Probably. Based on the hint that they gave you, there is a 0 at 3i. There's probably more. Can we figure out the x minus r1 and the x minus r2 based on looking at this graph? Okay, so where is r1 if we consider it to be the one on the left? Negative 4. So I think one of the factors is x plus 4. The other one, x minus 2. But there's more because they tell you this. I think x minus 3i is a factor. And if x minus 3i is a factor, so is x plus 3i. Write this down in your head. Complex roots always come in conjugate pairs. There's always going to be two. 3i minus 3i. 8i minus 8i. They'll always be in pairs. Okay? So are we done or not? I don't know. Uh, if we plug in 0, negative 36, and a turns out to be 1, that's the answer. We would be done. But we still need to figure out whether or not there is an a. We need to know if there's an a or not. So we're going to take the y-intercept, negative 36, to find a. When you put the y-intercept in, what's going in for x? 0. So we have 0 plus 4, 0 minus 2, 0 minus 3i, and 0 plus 3i. I think a is going to be... Well, let me... I spoke too soon. I think it's going to be 1 half. And here's why. Uh, what's 4 times 2? Jump on those easy questions. 4 times 2? Negative 2. Sorry, it's negative 8. Negative 3i times 3i is positive 9. You're right, because it's negative 9i squared. And negative 9i squared is 9. All right, the i squared turns the negative positive. So we have negative 36 equals negative 72a, so a must be 0.5. So the equation is going to be what you see here in blue with a 0.5 out in front of it. That must be the dilation constant, 0.5.